Hello? Yeah, this game's a bit loud. Should turn it down. Not just big fish. Today, uh, today I seek to become a racist. But first I gotta turn down the fucking volume. This shit's loud. Leave it there. Actually, yeah, there. Oh, so the corner of the screen, as you can see, one dollar is equal to a bigger McFish. So, yeah. The oh, fuck. And now how do I make a new career? Uh, manage drivers. Oh yeah, new career. Here we go. So. Uh, Oh, I need to enter my name with my keyboard, alright. There we go. This is a great game, it's called Formula One Racing. We gotta, so we gotta make our Formula One racist, okay? So we've got a... It's not a lot of good up. What the fuck happened to this guy? Just pick this one, he looks the most normal. You can pick your helmet. I don't think the helmet really uh, affects much when it comes to Formula One racing. Senna? Uh, I'll guess I'll fucking... I don't know which hat to pick. I'll pick that one. Oh, you can change the color on it. Keep it like that. Th this is way too in the- Oh, I can check my nationality here. Okay, now we're talking. Where's the P? You can be Ukrainian or Venezuelan. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, what driver number do we pick though? That's the big question. Because there's a lot of drivers. Just pick like number four or something. Where is Sealandian nationality? That's a good question. Oh, go 21. There's our guy. His name. And obviously last name. You just know I gotta go McFish. Abbreviated name. Uh. Wait, we only got got three letters for the abbreviated name. Shit. Let's go Han, like the Han Dynasty. Audio name. What the fuck is this? This is too in-depth of a character creator for a fucking Formula One game. Uh, yeah, there we are. McFishy. Oh, we gotta pick a fucking racing team. Is Lamborghini an option? It's not. I'll go with Red Bull. And who do we want? Oh, I can get Max Verstappen. I've been as my friend. Let's go. I would play the the Max Verstappen song if it wasn't copyrighted. Renault? No, nah, man. Renault fucking sucks. Uh, but, yeah, let's keep going. So we're in the, uh, I don't know where this is. I think we're in Australia. To start, I skipped the cutscene. Shit. Welcome to the data center. Here, we've got access to all kinds of information, including oh, this car telemetry, cool. weather, lap times, tire wear, the list nice goes on. PC. Plus, now, this we've got game a direct just link back to really the factory. Nice so it's we're in really constant well communication with the team there. We need you to regularly feed back about areas This also the isn't the latest of one game. This is uh, F1 2018. Cause it's the because I got More it for free equals a because they were given so it away. So it's well one worth time. the effort. Good luck this season. Oh, and make us all look good, okay? Fuck you! I'm not making you look good. I'm crashing this car first chance I get. All right. So we've got our. Welcome to your new team. Wow, there's a lot of detail in this game. Red Bull have taken the sport by storm over the past decade or okay. so. To 
become one of the most successful on the grid. Oh, we got they have a constant influx of new talent from their famous shit. young driver program. So make sure to impress, yeah. lest you lose you your seat to another rising to. star. Here you can see the pertinent details about your points. current contract. Uh, on one well, side are the objectives and bonuses that we've negotiated with the team. On the contract. other is information uh, regarding how you're perceived throughout. Practicing. I'm not one for tutorials. Welcome to our viewers from a. All right, let's see what this is about. Session info. Okay. Uh, you gotta r drive around. Okay. It's just fucking flying lap. I'm not driving out. <laughs> what the fuck is this camera? Oh, thank God you can change it. That's a tight turn. The Miami GP. I didn't see what happened to the Miami GP. I've not been keeping up all the Oh, why am I in third person? This is the worst camera mode. Fuck! Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your <laughs> tire temperatures, which you can do on the temperature right. panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temp this first lap is going to be awesome. So I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. Uh, I am playing this with a Netspots controller, I will say. Because I'm not using, gonna fucking use mouse and keyboard for this no way in hell. And I don't have the money for a uh, racing wheel. So I can't be a true racist, I can only be an Xbox racist. This is a relaxing game though. In before I crash. Are we do this is an awful lap of one minute, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get booted off the fucking Red Bull team after this lap. And tight time. 136 is the fastest time. Can I beat that? Oh! I sped up a bit. Alright, low fuel. I don't know what. Shit. I'm not a good racist, guys, I gotta admit. I'm doing my best now. If I get bored of this game, by the way, we're just going to make a fucked up city and city skylines. Everyone loves fucked up cities and city skyline. What a kind of Come on, gotta keep up the speed. Oh. I might get past this lap in. I just... Fuck! Okay, that's not good. This game's running at 70 FPS. I sped up a bit too fast, I guess. 135 is the fastest time. I'm about to break that. Come on! a bit more speed. Fuck! Fuck, I didn't get fast this time. Funny story about my PC. It's stolen merchandise that I bought up from a fucking little Chinese t uh, tech shop. Because no way for the specs that this thing has. It, could, it was like $200 off the actual price. There's no way it wasn't still in merchandise. Speeding it. 
hopefully I don't die in this corner. Uh, no way I'm beating 56 seconds, that's the fastest time. Oh fuck! Are you alright? Engine Looked off. Away for Engine one off. That's not a. That's not a good thing to happen when your tire just pops up. Right. We can go back in time, but we're we're like God. That's really bad. And I just did there. I, lo I, I lost too much speed there. Should really play the, the fucking War Thunder or Flight Simulator or some shit. You can do some really fucked up things in this game. Specifically, Flight Simulator. Not die here. Oh, that's really good. I, I just can't lose any speed now. I'm going too fast. If I get the fastest time in this lap, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go fucking play City Skylines. But as soon as I get the fastest time, I'm playing City Skylines. Cause let me be honest, this might not be the greatest game to stream, cause I just get too concentrated in it. And I'm thinking not a lot of you would like this listening to uh, engine noises for like an hour. Come on. Ooh, this might be fastest left. Can't bleed any speed unnecessarily now. It's a really good turn. I'm getting fucking hype. Ah, that's bad, but I think I can. Oh, I think I've recovered. That was the fastest lap. We're gonna go fucking play City Skylines. <laughs> That's what my one goal in F1 is just getting the fastest lap. Be and before I can lose that fastest lap, I always close the game. You see, that's how you're meant to play it. You're meant to get fastest lap, then you fucking close the game so uh, no one else can take fastest lap from you. It's a tried and true strategy. That's what Mats Verstappen does. <laughs> in real life. Oh, why am I launching? Audition. 
Oh no. What is Adobe Adobe Audition launched? That's not what Let's turn on this uh the music here. There we are. Now we're just gonna build a uh, a handsome little city. Let me change the stream title too. You guys see City Skylines 2 got announced. I'm kind of excited for it, but kind of worried about it at the same time. Because uh, knowing Paradox, uh, it could just be a fucking cash grab, just so they can sell a bunch of DLC, or it could be good. You never know with them. What? This is a very just... Wa this is like fucking Ohio City. I want to build in a place where with a lot of water because I want to make a fishing industry. Let's build here. So, the goal of this city is very simple. We're gonna... <laughs> Reinstate apartheid. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but it's gonna make a lot of sense in a second. Whenever this fucking game wants to load. Christ, this game takes a while to load. So where is McFish? Oh, he's there swimming. Uh, ignore how I unlocked everything just starting off. We don't talk about it. So when you build the city, you gotta remember basic city building technique make like big lines right you do it like this then we start zoning the shit out so what we've got here this is the rich part of town they've got big buildings alright let's just finish zoning this shit out Big old buildings, and let's build a nice little line of buildings. And they've also got big stores. You can't have big buildings without also having big stores. Like, come on. But then, we have... Just very loosely connected to that area. We have the second part of the city. And this part of the city, it doesn't have big buildings, it has small houses. Small, tiny little houses. And it has all the heavy industry too. And of course, who can forget the low density commercial zones in this part of the city? And just because fuck them, we're putting the coal power plants in here. Now you might be wondering, do they have to be coal power plants? And the answer to that is yes, they may not generate a lot of electricity, only 120 watts, but no, it doesn't matter. These Poor schmucks don't deserve it. Don't deserve uh, to be able to breathe properly. And something else we're gonna do with the city 
is they're gonna have separate water supplies. Because you can't have big buildings sharing water with small houses. That just doesn't make sense. The hell? Why the fuck is this like this? Office buildings here. So here we have the big water supply. Then these dudes do things get like two pumps. Now the rich people, they don't get their power from, uh, from coal, they're, uh, they get their power from more efficient sources. Like for example, they get the, uh, nuclear power plant. Cause you gotta have a nuclear power plant in your city. And they also get the, uh, high capacity hospital. the cemetery and the crematoriums and don't forget the firefighters there they're the ones that get this also disconnected but actually you yeah we can't really have it disconnected I've realized Now the the poor people, they're the ones that get the dump, alright? Uh, Hoivitz? Yeah, thanks. My fucking... What's it called? The Hoivitz I made the other day, the one about no DLC. That one just blew the fuck up. No idea how. Uh, what else do we need in this part of town? We need the police headquarters, obviously. We can't trust these, uh, these people that live in this part of town to, poli to police themselves. So let's just see how this goes. Now, for anyone tuning in, what I'm doing is a very immoral thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm reinstating apartheid in this city. <laughs> now, I know that sounds bad, but hear me out, okay? So... What can't coexist? You can't have poor people with rich people. So we, we're going to have all the rich people here, all the poor people here, and we're going to see what happens. So, you know, it may sound bad at first, but I think in time you'll all come to appreciate it. And we need the... We need a way to treat fucking... We're, you know what, we'll give the poor people an inland water treatment facility. Just cause I don't want to fucking send Tutsik sludge out in the ocean. Cause then the rich people would get that Tutsik sludge and that's just, uh, that's just too much for them to handle. Let's put that there. And we need to give this city a name. Uh, there we go. Pretoria. So I want to see. We're doing this also. It's low experiment. We're trying to see if rich people can survive without poor people in this city. Now that, now that might be a silly question, but you know, when you really think about it. All the poor people are like the plumbers and shit of society. Well, actually, plumbers get paid at fucking bank. The poor people are actually just the fucking immigrants. <laughs> well, the rich people are the, uh, are the second generation immigrants. So we'll see if they can, uh, assist. They're only connected by this small road. You know what? Let's put the military bases here. Just to, to regulate travel a bit, you know? Actually, isn't there like...
toll booths you can get. Uh, but, but where's the toll booth? I know that's a thing. Road tolls, yeah. Let's get a two-way toll booth. Oh, but I can't place it now. Oh, and it needs to be on empty space, I think. All right, so they don't, they're not getting text. Fuck. Ground that fish. I don't know, man. He's already browning in there. I should get him out. Oh, so this part of town doesn't have hospitals or anything. They just have like the high capacity police headquarters. That's all they get. That's all they get. That's all they deserve. For being uh, born wrong in the wrong part of town. <laughs> I want a way to permanently separate both both towns without like having to uh, what's it called without just killing the population growth, right? I. I know some cities have like two roads leading into them in this game, but this one only has the one, so I want to see if there's a way I can separate them. I doubt it, but you never know. Or maybe we'll just keep the current situation. What I've got going right now, though, kinda kills the purpose of the experiment. Because we have them depending on each other. And we need them to be... completely independent from each other. I'm making the power plant a historical building. How do you do that? Oh, I can't. Not only for, like, uh, residential buildings. Yeah. That sucks. This part of town is... I think it's growing fast. Yo, what's up? We're building uh, Pretoria right now in South Africa. Kinda inaccurate, because they got the nuclear power plant, but we need it to give the white people a power source, you know? The unfortunate people get coal power plants. And all the heavy industry. I wonder how I can separate both towns. Uh, road condition. Fuck no, I'm not building a road maintenance depot. Oh, I think I just found the way to separate our towns. So we grab this. And we just tax entry into the poor district. Oh yeah. This is exactly what we need. Now, and we're gonna set the ticket price to the max. Now, poor people won't be able to get out, but rich people will be able to go in. That's kind of fucked up, actually. Maybe what I'm doing is immoral. Nah, there's no way. Also, Fucking high density uh, commercial zones fuck, uh, suck, never build them. Because they just do not make any money. Like, you will always be needing workers. So, if you're ever short on power, just build a windmill. Very cheap and efficient. Connecting the power grid here. Oh, there we are. Now, 
travel should be heavily restricted. Hopefully that one toll booth is enough to to keep them as separated as possible. And so this side of town has a lot of cars. But oh this one also has a lot of cars. How do I turn it into shanty town? Can I replace my existing roads with dirt roads? No. But I can make the new roads dirt roads. That's a solution to the problem. You know, this side of town needs a few more coal power plants. So can I keep the two power grids separate? I think I can. Yes, I can. That's perfect. Now all that's left to do is to really just let it grow. Oh wait, I shouldn't have the police headquarters here, that's stupid. I should have the police headquarters in the area that have the people I care about. Here we go. Study scientists find that trees and sound barriers reduce traffic. I'm not fucking building trees. That's gay as shit. Oh, there's the fire. How the fuck did a fire start if there's just a. Uh oh, I built oil power plants instead of coal power plants. Oh. The ones over here are oil power plants too? Yeah. Hmm. Well, more contamination for the environment. The one issue I think this town's gonna have is one, the education is gonna be abysmal in this part of town specifically, and two, I think this part of town's gonna be more densely populated. Which in turn's gonna lead to potentially more crime and just uh, more bad things. But if I cared about that, I wouldn't have fucking separated the town into poor and rich people. What's the abbreviation for South Africa? SAF? It's, it has to be.
Average cities. Yeah. I'm gonna make it worse, don't worry. Cause I just want I'm not gonna develop anything in the city. This part of the city is already perfect. I'm just gonna continue populating this part of town and I'm just gonna make it shittier and shittier. That's the plan. <laughs> I mean, at first glance, you can already tell what part of town's meant to be the shitty one, because this one has all the coal power plants. This one just has a nuclear power plant. And we're keeping the uh, energy grid separate. You should play some few monuments now. Unique buildings. Historical... Tr fuck, no, I'm not building the historical trade building. Can't you build the SpaceX? I know you can build the SpaceX site. Where is the space... What the fuck? Floating cafe, that's a cool idea. Grab this. I like connect it like this. That has to be connected to the road. Because it doesn't give me any other options to connect it to the road. It it, it does not have roadside access. There we are. That's a very awkward road. Oh, perfect. All the people in this part of the city are getting sick. That's exactly what we want. Alright, so this part of, ta of the city is just gonna get high-density residentials now. We're not gonna build anything else in this area. And Christ, that music's loud. the music radio volume turn it down to 30 here we go if any of you have ideas on how uh, for this city you know just type them there in the chat trust me if there's a way to make it shittier or if rather you have a way to make it shittier, then I will listen to it and I will enact that fucking directly. Needs a tree. Uh, healthcare separate. Yeah, this part of town doesn't have any hospitals. This one has the only uh, high capacity hospital. No, and just to make sure that the people in this part of the city just cannot get to the hospital or can't access it easily the only way they can get out is with a toll booth that has to pay a uh, like two like two to get through per car like i'm max taxing that shit i'm gonna have to dezone these buildings because no one wants to live there or no one wants to work in offices actually well why would they need to work this part of the part of town with all the buildings, this one's already subsidized. Yeah, people in this part of town don't need to work. The sewage system, very different quality. Oh yeah, oh, way ahead of you. This one, we're only pumping two here. And this one uh, has four pumping. I, they, they do have a in advanced inland water treatment plant, though. I wanted to waste, dump all the Tutsik sludge into the water, but I have to separate the, uh, o the tiles, like the ocean. Actually, let's separate the ocean right now. Uh, let's separate it. Can I separate it with hydroelectricity power plant? Come on. 
kind of like this. Then what do I need to connect it? I'm just gonna. I think this one needs a power plant. I don't. Uh, that's very. That's sinking. How do I make it not sink? Or does it just unsink naturally? I'm guessing it'll unsink on its own. Oh, oh, that's a bit of flooding. That is, that's not good. Where's the pumping stations for when it floods? I know that's a building you can get. Yeah, pumping service. Maybe you should have built, thought this out a bit. Okay, no, that's not working out. We need a different way to separate it. Uh, water is realist. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let you know what? Let's try it a second. No way, hydroelectricity fails twice in a row, especially not if we start the hydroelectricity plant there. We start it out here and we build it out like this. There we go. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we need it to do. Okay. You played Theotown? I don't know what Theotown is. Oh fuck me, it didn't work. How do I build the water wall? The biggest dam in the world, and it doesn't fucking work. Where's the, uh... Isn't there a, a thing you can make? That, like, a little wall for flood guards. That's what we need. We need flood guards. Where's the flood guards in this game? Oh, wait, I can shift to... Oh, I ju that just gave me an idea. So that's how you, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna shift. Is there an easier way to shift terrain? No, the poor's don't need a flood guard. The rich do. But we're gonna build a huge moor first. Kind of like this. We're gonna try to build a lake. Where's the flood guards? Because that can, that can really uh, accelerate the process. Accelerationism. Red flood. Red flood. Is that under? It has to be underwater. No. No. Is that under this? No. Say, nope. If anyone knows where the where the flood guards are in this game, please tell me. I actually don't know. Natural disaster. Where are natural disasters? It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Uh, it's not going to be under education. Is it under the roads? Ferry. No, that's not the boat. This is the boat I can Yes! Canal. That's what we want. We want a wide, deep canal. I'm going to separate the two cities with a canal. Yes. Do that. Okay. I just had a fucking genius level idea. I can't build a bridge to it. So now this part is like completely cut off from the outside world. Actually, let's make it 
hard as fuck to get through there. Let's just build a long ass road that just warps around. Just to make it a pain in the ass for these guys to get over here and vice versa. That way no one's gonna wanna go through. Oh, <laughs> I'm, a f I'm a genie. <laughs> I'm a segregation genie. That's not a good thing. Why am I saying that? Let's also let the water go into the canal. So those uh, poor schmucks don't even think about going in there. Is it going? The water's not going in yet. It'll go in soon. I'll make sure of it. Come on. Yes. Go in. Flood. Flood. <laughs> the water's going in. Landscape a bit more. Now, oh, and all the people here are getting sick now and dying because they can't get a uh, health care. <laughs> Let's go. How much hy hydroelectricity? I'm producing 1,000 hydroelectricity. On, on a power output, we're not producing shit with this one, okay. I don't know who pestered the f mall in this. Do I need to know who that is? And now, we don't have a need for the hydro plant. Because we can... Continue to segregate the water like this. Okay. Segregate the water. Because if the wide deep canal just goes all across like this. Then that should part the sea. Should, should it not. Or is what I'm thinking in need of like a big ass wall. I think I need to build a wall. So the the canal works. Oh god, they just <laughs> look at them go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's actually awful. I don't know how many rich people were there. Oh no. <laughs> oh we need more uh more industrial sector, yeah, yeah I've got you. There we go. How do you build the walls? Slope terrain? It's not paths. It's not disaster. Water, water structures? Flood guard. Yes. We build a big flood guard. It can't be built on water. Shit. But a seawall can. City quit. What is the sea seawall tall? Because if it is tall, the shoreline is required to build it. Fuck. I need a way to segregate the water. Flood wall is a good start for segregating the water, but it's not a permanent solution. That's the problem. I need a way to get out. The fuck do I do this? The quay? Not flood wall. We start with flood wall. No, because flood wall doesn't do what I want. Oh, this water's all wet now. Or this land's all wet now. <coughs> Slope terrain? Can I lift the water? Or can I build a mountain? 
with landscaping tools. Or is that not how it works? No, that takes too long! Rocks. Could rocks work? No, they couldn't. That's stupid. Stupid idea. Oh, we can build a wall, though. Walls and fences. Oil industry fence? No, airport fence? No. Why the fuck is there no segregation options in this game, man? Like, what the fuck? I didn't pay for city skylines to just then be told that I can't segregate my city. That's bullshit. So only way to really segregate it appears to be with the hydroelectric plants. The only way to segregate the water is with the hydroelectric plants. So I need the hydroelectric plant. The fuck out of this. That floating cafe was a failed idea. Yeah, when's this part of DLC coming out? Oh fuck, the canal's flooding. <laughs> Shit. We need more space for the canal. We must divide the city further. Millions must die. And we need more water pumping service, Jesus. But I think we're making some real progress in the segregation process. Fuck, why can't you choose the height for this thing? That would solve so many of my problems. Let's continue wide and deep canal until we get here, then we do wide but shallow. Until here. And that should suck up enough water to where the hydroelectricity plant effectively separates our two water supplies. Yes, perfect. Okay, now that we have it like this, what I can start doing is I can start dumping waste into the water without having to worry about fucking uh, the repercussions of dumping waste into the water. We're just gonna dump it all here. And according to the water currents, then this is gonna dump it right back into where... where... Uh, this part of town gets their water. You following along with me so far? So... They'll have poo-poo water. And that shit's disgusting. We can segregate effectively. Oh, I'm a genius. Maybe not a good genius, but a genius nonetheless. Just in case though, I will build the flood wall here. We need to protect our citizens. Only if they're from the special part of town though. If they're not, they can fuck themselves. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't build in water. Shit. Oh, I kinda can. Ah, uh, this is... Kind of awkward. It gets the job done though. Yeah, it stops the water from going up. Okay. We're doing good. If any of you watching this are from like South Africa, I'm very sorry. But it's just how it, what we gotta do. Waste is piling up though. We can't let the rich people have waste. So how do we fix that issue? 
I know a solution. We let them recycle. They get recycled because they can afford it. The other people can't. They need water over here? Sure, drink your poo-poo water. Water systems completely separated now. Okay. How much electricity does this uh, hydro plant generate? How do I check that? Nothing. Perfect. It's just a wall. Now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking. Make this area more densely populated. That's the next step. Oh, I accidentally built a dirt road there. Whatever. It's a culturally enriching road, let's say. That's how the fucking. That's how everyone will eat it up. It'll be, oh yeah, it's, it's culturally enriching. That's uh, showing us how the other people live, but, they will, but they'll never be to this part of the city because they know that. Because they just know it's shitty. But they'll be ignorant to it. Because they have a dirt road. So they can say that they're the same city. They're just two sides of the same coin. Still got slight flooding issues though. Uh, gonna have to landscape a bit. Gotta make the land over here just slightly taller. Further separation. Here we go. Perfect. Now that should stop the flooding. Gradually. Should stop the flooding. And it should redirect it to here. Yes! But I don't want them to flood now. I'll, I'll give them that. I don't want them to flood because I want to see what they will do in their city. Also, in some like, I have a slightly related question to what I'm doing right now in this city. Is like the book A Tale of Two Cities, like about what I'm doing here? Or uh, no, because you. No, based on the title, I think it is related to what I'm doing. Services. Oh, deep space satellite ship. That's good. Other antenna. They get some kind of warning buoy. And an earthquake sensor. Oh, and of course the emergency shelter is just in this part of town. They don't get any warning, they have to deal with it. Why are people still moving into this fucking city? How is my population growing? That's amazing.
What a great city. Where does James Mi I don't think you're in the good part of the city, James Miller. I'm sorry to say. The escape route's complete. Oh, well, the water scheme is working. They're drinking shit water and they're all getting sick from it. People are getting sick. That's not good. people here. With that and the crematorium. There's high crime rate. Attempt to deploy the army.
of recycling. So I'll build a waste processing complex. Beautiful. <laughs> 